welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Ari J. That's J A Y. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a quick and simple style using just this $16 faux ponytail some rubber bands and some gel but before we get into this video please like this video subscribe to my channel share this video and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss another upload because like I always say I will be uploading many many more videos and you do not want to miss those now with that being said let's get straight into this video all right guys so first you want to split your hair from the front to the back as big as small a part you want from the front to the back and then you want to split that front section into three sections right here i am splitting the middle section from the front into three sections of its own that's where you're going to braid up the front So as you can see, that front section is now split into three sections. In total, you're going to have um, five sections in the front. For my braids, to make them look as neat as possible, I'm going to be using this um, Gorilla Snot Glue just to um, separate the braids from each other and make sure that my parts are as neat as possible and that my braids are as neat as possible. Now your braids are going to look a little wacky until um, you tie them down, but once you take the scarf off, your braids should look really, really good. I'm going to be using this um, rat tail comb just to split off the front section of my hair to begin my braid. That's how I like to um, do my um, cornrows, but if you don't like to split the front, just go ahead and do it the way you do it. This is just the way that um, I like to make sure that my cornrows start at the front of my head. Um, after I finish that braid, I'm just going to go ahead and put a rubber band around the end. Um, I'm only braiding up to where I split my hair from front to back. Do not braid your whole head and then just leave that back part loose. And now I'm going to be doing braids on all three parts in the front. Um, now for this side section, I'm just going to make sure that it's detangled really well. And then I'm going to basically be splitting my hair into three sections. Right now I'm gonna start with one. Um, and then I split that one section in half. And then I'm going to be going in again um, with the Gorilla Snot Glue. Just to make that part as um, neat as possible. And then I'm going to be putting a rubber band around that section. like you can see here I'm putting a rubber band around that um, one section and then I'm going to do the same to the square next to it going in with Gorilla Snot and then put in a rubber band around that one section And then I'm going to um, two strand twist the extra hair that's not in the rubber band. I do end up redoing this side of my hair so um, don't take this part serious. I just wanted to kind of show you um, the process because I didn't record myself doing the other half of my head. But um, I do end up redoing this side of my head. So now I'm going to go ahead and split um, my hair into the second section. And then I'm just going to repeat what I did um, from the front. Repeat what I did in the front section. I'm going to do again in the middle. Splitting it into two, adding Gorilla Snot, and then rubber banding those individual sections. Okay. 
and then I'm going to be crisscrossing my sections, adding the front section on the left to the middle section on the right and vice versa for the bottom right section and the middle left section. And I'm also going to be two strand twisting that after I add them together. You want to make sure your rubber band is as tight as possible um, because you don't want them to be moving around a lot once you add them to the sections um, that I didn't make sure of that. That's why I had to um, redo this side of my head because the parts moved around a lot and it just didn't look like what I needed it to look like. So as you can see, I'm just crisscrossing the sections, adding the front to the middle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing, um, adding the middle to the back of my head. Um, and I know that um, I was doing two strand twists um, after I connected the rubber bands together, but for that last section, I'm not going to be doing a two strand twist um, just because I'm going to be putting it up into a bun. Alright, so I'm just going to be repeating what I did on that side to the other side. Um, now that both sides are completed and I have re redid the other side that I did the first time, I'm just going to spray it with some water, just water, and then I'm going to um, detangle it and make sure that it has enough stretch to put up into a high bun. For my high bun, I'm going to be using a lot a lot of um, Gorilla Snot glue to get that sleek look it doesn't have to be too too slick um, because I am going to be putting a ponytail on and you won't really see too much of my hair in the back once that ponytail is on but if you um, want it really really slick go ahead and make it really really slick um, this Gorilla Snot is really messy but once I tie my hair down you won't see those little strands of Gorilla Snot that got into the braids. Now I'm just gonna brush up the back of my hair to make sure that it's high enough. Um, putting the first ponytail on, on the third wrap, I'm gonna um, just pull my hair halfway through, and then I'm gonna use the second ponytail holder to push my bun down so that it's not sitting up so high. For my edges, I did use um, Carol's Daughter's Black Vanilla Edge Control. I didn't record myself doing my edges, but that's what I used. This is the ponytail that I'm going to be using. Um, the brand is Cherish. Um, it's a drawstring ponytail and it has combs on the top and the bottom of the ponytail to just stick into your hair. 
Now my elbow is in the way during a lot of what I'm doing right now, but basically I'm just sticking the combs on the ponytail into the top and the bottom of my bun and then um, pulling the drawstring so that it's tight to the bun and then taking the extra drawstring material and tying it around the ponytail just like a ponytail holder so that it's not um, showing. Now that my ponytail is secure, I'm just gonna take a um, small piece from the bottom of the ponytail and I'm gonna use that to wrap around the um, base of my ponytail so that it just looks more realistic and you can't see like the split between my hair and the ponytail. I'm going to be using this got to be glued um, free spray to make sure that the piece that I'm wrapping around doesn't move and that it stays in place. It doesn't get like frizzy. In order to um, keep this part that I wrapped around in place, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in some bobby pins just to make sure that it's secure. All right, guys, this is the final look. It looks so, so good. This is the day after and it still looks really, really good. I'm really happy with um, the way that this style turned out. All right, guys, so that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you really, really enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.